M1 Global presents. Back, 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 back. Robert Lau of Germany Josh. versus Magomed Sharudinov of Russia. The light Josh. heavyweight tournament Ready? final, Ready? The 2016 right. WMMA <laughs> European Championships, the bell in round number one from St. Petersburg, Russia. Oh, Lau nice in the black trunks. By low. Gray trunks with red trim for Sharudinov. Lau come out with a beautiful, strong low kick there, Sean. Both of the stance on these guys are low. Sharudinov, I think, going to look for the shot. I said it just as he did it. He come in with a real low stance. Good effective sprawl from Lau. A body lock. Lau short to the inside. Trying to turn knee to the body from Sharudinov. Yeah, Lau did use, used his common sense there by sitting on the corner post. There's the takedown with commitment on the second effort from the body lock. Yeah, Sharudinov done real well, now landing in half guard. Lau looking for the Kimura, but it's going to be very hard to put on from a half guard position. He could sweep him from here though, once he gets it locked in. Lau committed to that Kimura, posturing on his hip, but eating a lot of shots to the ribcage from Sharudinov. Yeah, he's left go of it now, Sean. He's realized he was taking too much punishment in the process. I'm holding, I'm holding. Now holding a loose, loose half guard. Modified body triangle on the leg in the half guard. Interesting guard game from Lau. Well, Lau was actually working the butterfly then. The he couldn't get the What's sweep, the so he then went for a body lock to hold on to his opponent. Now he gets the body lock now. Is he going to do the holding tactic or is he going to try and get a sweep from here? Now he tried to sweep. He tried to throw him there with no success though. Right body lock from Lau. Shrudinov looking very comfortable though in top position. Literally walking Lau into the corner, trapping him at the corner at the turnbuckle against the lower fence. Well, the guard's wide open. Shrudinov can actually pass if he wants. Oh, big right hand. <laughs> Thunderous shots now from Sharudinov. Well, Lau had to leave go of his opponent just to protect his face because the punch was that hard. And again, as we see, they put their head up against the cage part of the ring. Like you say, you put it on an angle like that, it's very hard to defend anything. Referee Wukash Bosatsky taking a close look at those shots from Sharudinov. They are landing firm and flush in. <laughs> Yeah, Shudnov has him in a good position, that's why he didn't pass, because he knew once he got his head up against the, the ring, he knew he was going to be in a dominant controlling position in the years. Look at the head control as well, he's got cross face. Hand is on the shoulder or the tricep, control the face, throw down with the other hand. Now again, opening his guard, walking up, looking for the triangle, can't find it. Shudnov clearing the legs up. In the side time, 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 now time, time called by Bosatsky. Go to the, uh, go, go there. Now the glove, the glove has come off the fingers of Lau. Hey, hey. out of the thumb. Oh as you see the, whole hand, hand. the whole hand has come out of the glove. Just think that he's wearing those yellow boxing hand wraps as the German Robert Lau. Yeah, it's unusual to see to MMA fighters wearing boxing hand wraps. Normally, it's bandages and, and tape only. Obviously, it's amateur to me, allow the amateur to wear these. But Lucas should put them back down in the side control position. Once he's. Okay, come back. That's exactly what he's yeah, going to do. Great referee from Wukash Bosatsky. The glove malfunction from Lau, he should not be rewarded for that situation. There's the proper restart. Round one resumes. Shrudinov right back to work with the elbow now to the right hand. Lau pulls guard, half guard. <laughs> Lau likes to triangle his legs from half guard. Not that conventional. Be very defensive when you use the triangle. Well, when, when you catch someone in half guard like that, Sean, it, 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 it's okay if you're, you, you're trying a submission attempt from top, but not from, from ground and pound. It's not going to make any difference whatsoever with ground and pound. Actually, a half guard is a strong position for ground and pound. See the heavy pressure now from Magomed Sharudinov. Just no space for Lau. 
That's why Sharudinov's not really bothered if he passes that half guard on it. The ground and pound is strong. He knows it's strong and he can stay there all day. Big hammer fist now from Sharudinov. Final minute round number one. You see Lau posturing on his hip. Stuck in that position against the corner cushion, against the turnbuckle. Yeah, it's not a good position to be in. The end could be near now. Sharudinov opening up with the right hand. Oh, he's taking a really close look. Sharudinov looking to finish Lau, reestablishes his guard. Back to the left hand for Sharudinov. Yeah, at least Lau was aware of what was going on. He might have been taking punishment, but he, he managed to regard his opponent, which means he's avoiding punishment. He's trying to move out there. It's not only tenors, you're defending yourself. He done really well to move into full guard. 20 seconds now remaining, round number one. Can close guard for Lau. One way traffic at the moment for the Russian in his seconds. home nation is we're in St. Petersburg. Magomed Sharudinov. The bell cannot come soon enough for Lau. And there it is. Well, Lau tried to get back to his feet in the last you second. Need to do something with that. He's not good to do it. But fight like that. To be honest, the Russians are just taking full control of this amateur tournament right now. I don't want this. Hey, coach, I don't want this. The theme of round number one in Didian, the theme of the night in these well, tournament the finals, top control from the Russian fighters. Yeah, top front. I mean, look at the body lock. He gets a beautiful takedown here. And I want to throw on the ground. It's just all control. I mean, look at the way he's controlling the head and controlling the neck of his opponent. You control your opponent's head there again. He's doing it again. Shalutnov is controlling the head, although he's controlling the mouth as well. He's stopping the, his opponent from breathing, which is perfectly legal. He's also controlling the head. You control the head, it leaves you wide open for good shots. We might have a slight delay here, Robert Lau. is completely re-wrapping with the assist of his corner. That boxing yeah. hand wrap on his right hand. Still have to get his right glove back on. We are going to have a delay. Posadsky nicely done. Calls time. Sends Sharudinov to the neutral corner. It's a really good bit of refereeing from Wukash Posadsky, which I always appreciate. Give me a towel. Give me a towel. Excess water being wiped off the body of Lau. We're ready to start round number two. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! There's the bell. Light heavyweight tournament final 2016 WMMAA European Championships. With Ian the Machine Freeman, I'm Sean Wheelock. We're in St. Petersburg, Russia. Robert Lau of Germany versus Magomed Sharudinov of Russia. Well, Lau has to watch the takedown, but he's still got a throw down. Oh, nice. Big right hand to get the takedown. He got the clinch. Right hand to close space. Now Sharudinov again looking to finish. Jackhammer left hand. Just relentless on that ground and pound. We've got to give Lau his credit. He's still defending well. Heavy volume of heavy strikes for Sharudinov in round one and again here in round number two. 45 seconds into this round. Again, if you watch Shirudinov, he controls the head before he punches it. He controls it with one hand, there he's doing it now. Controls it with one hand and then throws down with the other. There's the control, there's the other. Perfect ground and pound. He's using the forearm to control the head of Lau. A great head position by Magomed Shirudinov. You see that with a lot of wrestlers in mixed martial arts. It's not a headbutt, it's perfectly legal. You're using your head as a pivot to close space and control. Yeah, use head control to control the head. You can use forearm control to control the head. You can actually cross face with the forearm across the face so they can't move. But every time they do that, they're doing it for a purpose. They're doing it to set up punches. And this is perfect ground and pound. But you need to defend yourself. Well, Sasuke just said to Lau, you need to defend yourself, you need to fight back. Bosatsky letting Robert Lau know that if he does not fight back, Bosatsky is going to stop this fight. Shrudnikov is going to win by TKO. Looks like we're getting very, very close to that situation. Yeah. Magomed Shrudnikov continuing to land big shots. Again with the left hand. Just total domination here. Trying to trap the arm. 
<laughs> and left hand getting through from Sharudinov. And you just wonder whether Sharudinov can understand English because Lucas is speaking in English. For him to defend himself, if he could hear that or could understand that, he may throw down a little bit more leather. There's a big right hand. Yeah, Lukas Wysatsky is looking well over the top. He's not happy with what's happening. He knows that Lau is taking punishment. Lau is just not offering any resistance, and he's just taking these punches, just stuck in bottom position. A wipeout for Magomed Sharudinov in this light heavyweight tournament final, but still we fight on. 205 remaining round two. But Sharudinov, it's the way he's controlling his opponent. That's, that's, that's what's working really well for him. Obviously, the striking's doing great. But if you punch without the control, then it makes it look that Lau can escape. Lau can get out of there. But because he can't get out of there, it looks like he's not defending. And that's why Pazatsky said he must do something, otherwise he'll stop the fight. There's another control. Control in the head, bang, with the right hand. A totally defensive close guard for Lau. All he's doing is keeping Shrudinov in place to continue to rain down strikes. Don't grab the throat. Don't grab the throat. Magomed Shrudinov, so heavy with the top position. There's the tape coming off the glove again. Time called once more by Wukash Bosatsky. This is the exact reason why they shouldn't be wearing hand wraps. That was the next sentence out of my mouth, machine. It should be bandaged and taped up. Try to keep it. Try to keep it. Okay, are you ready, guys? Fight! Here comes the restart. Well, the referee knows that there's not long left in this round, and it's been two rounds of domination, so he knows it's not going to go into a third round. I just love the head control. Oh, that's a submission attempt, though, by Lau. Tenth and presumably final minute of this fight, unless Lau can somehow score a finish. This has been all Magomed Sharudinov. Of course, in the finals of the 2016 WMMAA European Championships, an overtime round is there if level after two rounds, but believe me, we're not privy to the judges' scorecards. No way this is level. This is all Magomed Sharudinov. Yeah, Sharudinov just passes now to half guard. And an argument can be made this is a 10-8 round right now for Sharudinov. But for the three Ds, damage, domination, duration, I think we've met that criteria. Without a doubt. And look where Sharudinov's got the, the, the outside knee. You put the outside knee under the armpit of your opponent. It's a good, strong base. Legs are wide. Open the leg wide, which brings your hips down. Makes you heavy on top of your opponent. And Sharudinov is doing all of that. All of the above. And then he's finishing off with strong ground and pound. There's the bell. And that's literally everything but the finish for Magomed Sharudinov. Credit to Robert Lau, fought very well to reach this light heavyweight tournament final, but just no answers for the German on the bottom against Magomed Sharudnov. As the Russian looked out of the standings. Weiss in this fight, once in round one, and again in round number three, and Stanislav Mikuts, Ukraine. Close to getting a TKO finish. Perhaps because he never turned up the ball, and he just sits it with his fist. Not getting the TKO. Алихан Яндиев и президент Федерации ММА Гамас в Германии Адриан Бакос. The ground and pound was superb, the control was superb. Everything but the finish was there. Even his positioning was perfect. Уважаемые поклонники смешанных боевых январь в этом поединке по итогам двух раундов единогласным решением судьи одержал победу и стал чемпионом Европы по ММА 2016 года в весовой категории до 93 килограммов спортсмен из России Магомед Шахрудинов Россия! Extremely impressive from Magomed Sharudinov. Наши поздравления всей команде, которая готовила Магомеда. И, конечно же, мы награждаем спортсмена из Германии. Роберт Лау стал серебряным призером в этой же весовой категории.
А также наши поздравления спортсменам, которые стали бронзовыми обладателями в этой же весовой категории. Это Павел Масальский, Беларусь. И Дмитрий Микуца, Украина. Наши поздравления, ребята. Традиционное общее фото на память. Все вместе, пожалуйста. А мы аплодируем. А мы поздравляем ребят. И впереди у нас всего один бой чемпионата Европы.